Come on. We got it. We got it. Cut one. You won't believe this. Okay. Listen. Rebozo. Uh, Rebozo accepted $100,000 in cash to redecorate Nixon's home. The uh, acceptance was understood to mean that our TWA appeal and the Air West matter would be of highest priority. And, it, and also, in 1956, Hughes gave Nixon's brother $205,000 to secure Pentagon contracts. This, this is money laundering. It's bribery. It's, it's the end. This is... We published this. Nixon... Nixon, the president is impeached. Do you understand the power this gives us? Cliff, I'm not sure I want the power this gives us. Yeah, well, I do. Cliff, you publish this, you will have a storm of shit rain down on you. And there are people now, God knows who, uh, uh, Nixon's political enemies, Hughes' advisors, they know where you live. Yes. I say you forget you ever saw this. Forget it. This, this is like a Torah sent down from God to make us part of history. And you want to forget it? Dick, come here. Let me show you something. Come here. Postmark from Nevada. That's Hughes' country. Well, what are you saying? He wants us to help him bust Nixon. He's with us, Dick. Howard is with us! How did you know the Dillon Reed hydraulic systems were faulty? You You're not listening, Clifford. God damn it! I made sure they were faulty through a couple of well-placed bribes. So why didn't you just go to defense with the information and get the contract? Well, I couldn't have handled the contracts then, so... Instead of tattling on them, I fixed their planes. I intertwined our technologies. I ate that company from within. And they let me, because they were hypnotized. That's the way, Clifford. When your rival is powerful, find an opportunity. Create a crisis for him. But instead of taking short-term advantage, save the day for him. Nothing confuses a man more than a kind gesture from his enemy. Nothing renders him more vulnerable. It's Edith. Come on, turn it off. Turn it off. I made sure they were faulty through a couple of... It was Andrea. We got a problem.